Director, I, I just have to, General Clapper, I just have to mention the name Mr. Assange has uh, popped up, and I believe that he is the one who's responsible for publishing names of individuals that work for us that put their lives in direct danger. Is that correct? Yes, he has. And do you think that there's any credibility we should attach to this individual, given his record of... of uh, not my uh, view. Not your view. Admiral Rogers? I second those comments. <laughs> Thank you. Um, for the record, on October 7th, the Homeland Security and uh, Office of Director of National Intelligence their assessment was that the U.S. intelligence community is confident that the Russian government directed their recent compromise of emails from U.S. persons and institutions, including from U.S. political organizations. Goes on to say these thefts and disclosures are intended to interfere with the U.S. Ele election process. Quote, such activity is not new to Moscow. Russians have used similar tactics and techniques across Europe and Eurasia. Uh, quote, based on the scope and sensitivity of these efforts, not on, that not only that only Russia's senior most officials could have authorized these activities. Uh, General Clapper, do you, th those are still operable and correct statements? Uh, yes, uh, Chairman McCain, they are. As I indicated in my statement, we stand uh, <clears throat> actually more resolutely on, on the strength of that statement that we made on the 7th of October. I thank you. And so, really, what we're talking about is, if there were, if they succeeded in in changing the results of an election, which none of us believe they were, uh, that that would have to constitute an an attack on the United States of America because of the effects. If they had succeeded, would would you agree with that? The First, we cannot say they they did not change any uh, vote tallies or, or any anything of that sort. Yeah, I'm just uh, talking. And we have about no it. we have no way of gauging uh, the impact that certainly the intelligence community can't gauge the, the impact it had on uh, choices the electorate made. There's no way to, for us to gauge that. Uh, whether or not that constitutes uh, an act of war, I think, is a very heavy policy call. Uh, that uh, I don't believe the intelligence community should make, but it's uh, certainly a, a would carry, in my view, great gravity. Thank you. Ad Admiral Rogers, have you seen this problem in your uh, position getting worse or better? In other words, uh, it's my information that their techniques have improved, their capabilities improved, uh, the degree of success has has improved. Is that is your is that your assessment? So I have publicly said before that the Russians are, are a peer competitor in cyber. If you look broadly beyond the Russians to cyber writ large, the level of capability of nation states and actors around the world continues to increase. I can't think of a single significant actor out there who is either decreasing their level of investment, getting worse in their trade craft or capability, or in any way backing away from significant investments in cyber. And with all due respect to you, Mr. Secretary, I have not seen a policy. In other words, I don't think any of our intelligence people know what to do if there is an attack besides report it. I don't think that any of our people know uh, if they see an attack coming, what act specific action should be taken. Uh, maybe I'm missing something, but I've asked time after time, what do you do in the case of an attack? And there's not been an answer. There's not been an answer. And uh, I, I, I believe that unless we have specific instructions to these wonderful men and women who are doing all this work, then we're going to be uh, bystanders and observers. Yeah, I'm glad to hear you respond to that. Mr. Chairman, you're right that uh, we have a lot more work to do to put the right uh, deterrence and response framework in place on cyber. This is uh, somewhat of a new domain of uh, operations and, uh, in some cases, warfare. 
And it, it, in my personal opinion, the next administration would, would be well served to focus uh, very early on, on those questions of, of continuing to develop our, our overarching policy, a comprehensive approach, and um, a, a increasingly re robust and refined uh, deterrence framework. Thank you. Finally, Director and Admiral, um, would it make your job easier if you didn't have to report to seven different committees? <laughs> um, Chairman McCain, uh, my uh, hands have been slapped before uh, when I uh, ventured into the delicate area of congressional <laughs> jurisdiction. So for Even in the last remaining week. 15 days that I'm in office, I don't think I'm going to speak to that. Afterwards, that might be different. Well, we'll look forward to calling you back. <laughs> Admiral Rogers. Can I second the comments of the Director of National Intelligence? <laughs> but it, it, it does make it difficult, doesn't it, with the, uh, it's not exactly stovepiping, but overlapping jurisdictions, uh, I think, makes your job a little harder, doesn't it? I mean, in all candor, Admiral. I mean, the way I would phrase it is, I think clearly an integrated approach is a key, is a key component of our ability to move ahead here. I, I would say that in the government, in the private sector, um, there, there's, no particular one slice where that's not applicable. Thank you.